another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back. I am back. I was out of town. I was at the the, the uh, Barrera Punta de Leon fight in New Mexico. I'm back now. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you again every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, I want to get into the Sean Porter retirement today. Um, we're going to get into that. But before we do, please share, like, and subscribe. Um, share, like, and subscribe. 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Also, please subscribe to our other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Lots of new content, excellent content on that channel. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism uh, research and recovery. So please uh, share, like, and subscribe. Uh, so that's going to help us get that monetizing uh, and up and running. All right, let's get into today's show. Uh, Sean Porter calls it a career. Shockingly, um, Sean Porter was... Um, not shocking that Sean Porter was doing well, but shocking that he he, he retires. Uh, Sean Porter was, I, I thought, doing really well in that fight until he got knocked out <clears throat> in the tenth round. Um, he was down. It was he, he was winning rounds. He was putting the pressure on. He was, I thought, landing the cleaner shots, the better shots. Uh, I had him up six rounds to three. Um, going into the the tenth uh, round, I thought he had a pretty good lead. I, I gave Porter the, uh, Crawford the second. The fourth and maybe the eighth. There were three, uh, seven, two, four, and seven, maybe. Um, maybe it was the seven, right? But I, I gave, I'm sorry, Crawford two, four, and seven, two, four, and eight. I gave uh, Crawford, no, I'm sorry. I gave Crawford two, four, and nine. Two, four, and nine is what I gave him. So I, and I gave, I gave Porter the restaurant. I, I thought Porter was lending the clean of shots. I thought uh, Porter was dictating the pace. I, I thought there was a change there in the, uh, Ninth round, and, and uh, Porter just started chasing um, Crawford around. He stopped cutting the ring off on him and was just circling with him, just just chasing him around the ring. Uh, and that's not what you want to do. And, and, and um, you know, full credit to Crawford. Uh, his corner told him he was behind. He needed a knockout, and he came at and, and got that um, in the 10th round. Uh, two vicious knockdowns. The second one, uh, you can see Porter was disgruntled. He was banging his glove on the canvas. I think he knew at that point he wasn't going to win the fight on the, on the scores, which brought – I, I thought brought his father in. I think his father came in because his father realized, look, he's not going to knock Crawford out. Uh, he can't win this fight on the cards. Let's call. Let, let's call it a day, and ultimately call it a career. I'm sure they had the conversation that if he lost this fight, it was over, and it was over. Um, and, and you know, Sean Porter, thanks for the memories. They were really good. Sean Porter, um, a great welterweight. I don't care who you are. You know, Mayweather, Sugar Ray, Terrence Crawford, Oscar De La Hoya. Sean Porter is going to give that person work. Porter is going to make that person's life a living hell. Porter's not an easy fight for anyone. I, I remember when Spence and Crawford had their famous face off. And um, Crawford, uh, uh, Spence said that why why wouldn't he take the easy route and fight Sean Porter? Uh, uh, you, you know, Spence needs to rally late in that fight to get a knockdown to win. A lot of people thought Porter won that fight. There's nothing easy about fighting Sean Porter. Um, not for anyone. I don't care. Give me the welterweight in history. He's not going to have an easy night's work with Showtime, Shawnee P. Um, you know, Sean Porter is, is a great human being. Uh, I think he's got a great career as a commentator. I think he's going to be around the sport for a long time. And uh, it, it, it was great to have him. Unfortunately, P- Porter uh, lost most of his big fights. Now, he did have really good wins. You, you go through, through Porter's career. Um, he had good wins. You can go through him. He's got a win over uh, Julio Diaz, which kind of kickstarted him after the, the, the controversial draw. Uh, before that, he had a win over uh, Ray Robinson early in their career, uh, both really early in their career. He had a win over, uh, like I said, Diaz. He had some wins over Alfonso Gomez. And then he got himself into the world title picture. Um. I'm sorry, he won the title from Julio Diaz. He beat Devin Alexander. Uh, he beat Paulie Malignaggi. Um, and then he, he lost a, a, a tight decision to Brooke. 
He came back. He he beat Broner, lost to Thurman, beat Berto, um, Granados, Danny Garcia, see, Ugas, put together a, a really good str- string string of wins there. Lost to Spence. <clears throat> Um, took it to a fight with Familia, Familia won that fight, uh, and then fought Terrence Crawford. Um, it was a sensational career uh, for, for Errol Spence, it, it, uh, uh, for Sean Porter. He fought everyone. He was able to negotiate fights with everyone. Look at the name that I just gave you. Every great welterweight of this era. Crawford, Spence, Ugas, Danny Garcia, uh, Andre Berto, Keith Thurman, Adrian Brown, Devin Alexander. He fought all of them and one after another. Um, truly, truly, truly a warrior. Um, you know, when, when when Porter first burst onto the scene, a lot of people didn't like his style. It was a rough out style. You know, he was a, like a bull in a china shop. Um, but I, I, as we got to watch, and I, I, I thought starting with the Danny Garcia fight, he, he really started to utilize his jab a little bit more. It's hard to believe that fight's over three years ago. But he's really starting to utilize his jab more. I, I think he grew up a lot um, at that fight. He was 30 years old at that, that time. And then he really, you know, became more of a, be able to use his jab more. Um, but Porter is was one of the great guys to watch in this ring and one of the great human beings in the sport of boxing. Uh, boxing's going to miss him. He didn't care. Sean Porter would fight you. Sean Porter was a dog. Sean Porter would fight anyone. And he did. And, you know, unfortunately, like I said, he lost most of his big fights. You know, he lost to Thurman, right? He lost to Spence, lost to Crawford, lost to Brooke. But those are his full losses. And he's got plenty of good wins. I, for my money, Sean Porter's a, a Hall of Famer, two-time welterweight champion in a great era of champions. He got one over Ugas, uh, got a win over Danny Garcia, got one over Devin Alexander, Paul Malinaji, Andre Berto. Um, you know, he's got good wins. Um, Julio Diaz. I, for my money, and his losses are just, you know, the stop is lost. And if I, I had him up six to three, most people, and we can get into the scorecards, we can do another show on that on the scorecard, which was atrocious. It, it, it's hard for me to believe that everyone watching the fight has Porter winning, and the judges, all three judges, have Crawford winning. Like, how do all three judges, not one of the three judges, sees the same fight that everyone else uh, saw? It's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Sean Porter, is he a Hall of Famer? What do you think of his career? Did you like his style? Did you find his style to be a, a, you know, a beautiful disaster? Or was it just hard to watch? Um, thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe um, text to uh, 3D Boxing Share all from social media. Also, um, Texas Boxing Scenes. The other channel just uploaded a ton of content to that channel as well. Please like, share, and subscribe. Help us monetize that channel. Help us get that up and running. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it is November 22nd, 2021. Ivan Calderon is not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get Ivan Calderon in uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.